<laughs> Content marketing is so hot right now. So hot right now. What did I do? I'm Taylor Vasquez from Brookside Studios. Thanks for clicking the link if you were from Facebook and you kind of dove into here. Um, if you just kind of browsed YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to be going over why your content marketing strategy isn't working. Well, in real, actually just sucks. So what is content marketing? <laughs> it's so hot right now. <laughs> It is a type of marketing that involves creation and also sharing online marketing material. Videos, blogs, blogs, social media, etc., etc. Really highlight not necessarily your brand, but uh, kind of highlight your products and services. Meow! Reasons why your content marketing strategy isn't working. Actually, no, scratch that. It sucks. One. Maybe the reason why it's not working is because you didn't really have a defined strategy or goal. If you want your company to be successful, especially through content marketing, you need to kind of define your overall strategy or also kind of go back and redefine your goals. That could be part of the reason why there's some little disconnect from that. So think of it this way, when you are coming up with your strategy, what you want to do is think from beginning to end. How is that user traveling through that um, funnel? How are they kind of working through all of this? Are they falling off at a certain point? What's happening? You could also, like I said, could be your goals. Um, maybe you thought that this strategy will get me this goal. That might not be the case. So always try to start with your goals and see if you can kind of work a strategy to match that goal. Adapt and evolve. Sometimes you didn't necessarily hit the nail on the head per se, but that's okay. Sometimes, you know, it's always to go, it's always nice to kind of go back and kind of look at your strategy and see where did we go wrong? Where did the user fall off? So when you do adapt and evolve, you want to go back and find out what is working and what's not working. If it's something that's not working, throw it out or if something is semi-working, go back and finesse it. The whole point is to be able to, you know, kind of adapt and evolve your strategy because people do change. Sometimes their needs change. So you want to be able to accommodate for that. Do your part. Another way you can kind of do your part is if you are struggling out there and you don't necessarily know you know, where to start or kind of how to fix your strategy, um, find a good agency. There is plenty of us out there, but don't find an agency that will just do what they think that you need. Find an agency to partner with and who will kind of take you through the steps and really find out what is not only best for you, but will also be best for your consumers. Two, you forgot to promote the goods. You didn't sell them to me, you know? You didn't, you just pumped and dumped them. Don't use the philosophy, you know, if we build, they will come, because that's not really going to work, especially in the vast digital sea, okay? No one's gonna be swimming in and be like, oh, this. I'm gonna go read it. You know, you gotta promote the goods. You gotta sell them. Just because your mama says, you know, why get the cow when I can get the milk for free? <sighs> that might be a really bad analogy, but it kind of still works with this scenario. You gotta promote. You can't forget that. Promoting is going to really help with your content marketing strategy. Three, your content just sucks. Sometimes the problem isn't necessarily poor promotion or maybe your strategy is not really working. It could be, it's gonna come as a shocker, your content just sucks. Maybe you did hire a cheap writer or maybe you are doing the writing yourself. 
if your content is the problem, then definitely get help. Definitely find an agency that will tailor the content to match your target demographic. Four, maybe you've set really high and unrealis unrealistic expectations. Um, maybe you were too controlling when it comes to working with your agency. Or you, maybe you went rogue and you didn't go with the plan that was already in place. How to fix it. One, if you are doing it by yourself, uh, one way to fix it is to hire a great agency, to partner up with someone. Um, usually with a good marketing agency, they will have a process in place and they should be able to kind of hold your hand and kind of walk you through the process in order to, to produce a really great content marketing strategy. Research your target market again. Maybe you kind of missed the ball or somewhere in there. So if maybe the reason why your strategy isn't really working, or maybe your content's not really working or something, kind of go back and make sure your content is targeted to your market audience. Um, and if you need to go back, it's always best to kind of research them a little bit more, create um, personality personas, that will help not only you, but your marketing agency as well to help make sure that content is catered to that market audience. Two, come up with a solid strategy and know the strategy from beginning to end. One thing I'll also do to how to fix this whole process is to really know your strategy and especially the goals. What is the goal for the strategy? Like you have to be able to set a goal and say, okay, um, with this strategy, I am hoping to at least have maybe a certain percent of conversion rate, or I would at least like to have a new submission, um, at least three of them per month. Those are pretty realistic you know, goals for strategies. So you wanna kinda go back and look, what do I want to have? and as far as goals go. One thing that I think a lot of people also miss is what is your budget? Especially if you're working with a marketing agency, you want to be able to set a budget so that that, that in a sense can set up expectations. I mean, no one wants to go, you know, 10 yards ahead and they only have a budget for one yard. If that makes sense, that's a weird, weird analogy, but I think you get what I'm saying. Like. So make sure you have a budget up front so that your team can be able to plan accordingly. Three. Another way to kind of help fix your content market strategy is surprisingly enough, stop your competition, see what they're doing. If you are doing something that the market that you are in is already doing, why are you doing it? Why are you following everyone else? You should stand out um, a little bit, not too much, because maybe standing up too much in your market could be, you know, not too good. Did you apply the if we build, they will come philosophy? Probably have a crazy massive content library. So that's awesome. You want to kind of reuse that and kind of, you know, repurpose that content. There's no reason to kind of just like scratch it unless it really does suck. Um, but if you do have a massive content library tell us and we can kind of go through it together and we'll be able to maybe pull some of that and to kind of fit with your content marketing strategy five be engaged with your audience another reason why sometimes content marketing strategy kind of fails is because you are not taking the time to really engage with your audience sometimes i start a sentence and i don't know how i'm going to end it <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. We make videos every Monday, unless there's some weird reason why we can't do it on Monday, then you'll see us on Tuesday. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe button. Um, and also if you could share this, that'd be great. See you guys next week.
<laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> and cut. That's the stuff.